How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new around here my name is Steve Roden and we go on epic adventures every single week. I'm quite excited to be giving you guys this video because it's a very special one. This video will mark the start of daily exploration vlogs that will be released every single day. Now not only that but I forgot to do my intro within this video and give a brief summary about the place we're trying to explore so I'm gonna do that right now. Now the place we really want to get into is called Burlington Bunker and for those of you who don't know what Burlington Bunker is, it was basically a bunker that was created during the Cold War era in case of nuclear war. It's incredibly big, it's about 60 miles of road, 100 feet deep underground and it was completely blast proof and self-sufficient, said to be able to accommodate over 4,000 people. It was mainly gonna house government officials and their family members and the royal family. 30 more years after the Cold War ended, it was still in operation, but was then taken over by the MOD in 1990. As of, I think, 2008, the place was decommissioned. Even though it closed down, it's still heavily guarded. There's been UFO sightings, and there's stories from only a few people that have actually made it inside of them being held by the MOD, mysteriously vanishing. Yeah, there's really a lot of dark secrets probably inside this place and my friends and I, we, we really want to document it and show you guys what it could be possibly be like down there. But if you would like to do a little bit of research and know a lot more information, the links will be down in the description below. I found a really nice article. Yeah, let's move on with the video, but before we do it, leave a thumbs up. Enjoy. Yo, look at these guys, they look like about to jump me. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> bro. Come here, man. <laughs> Holy fuck, the shit, gang's bro. all here. <laughs> About time. All right, buddy. Bro, nice good. To meet you, good to see you again, man. I know, yeah. You know things are about to go down when when us us four meet up. It's just string one. You know things are gonna go down. Every Hell time, yeah, every man. Time. About time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you guys were mad. It disappeared again. What? Yeah. See, this is the thing. I'm seeing all this alien stuff. So I don't know when it's gonna take this guy. Let's go find him. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Steve. Look who else we got here. You guys remember the secret vault, right? Yeah. Here he is, here he is, here he is. My memory card's formatted and... You look different. No yeah. bright orange nope. camos. Nope. He's got the black, oh black camos now. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? Wait, I see something new, though. What's that? What's the, the glasses? <laughs> Still me. If you're a special, you're a special guy, and you come a long way. We've got a special seat for you. Like it's, it's got. Um, oh my goodness. Suspension, you know. <laughs> so it's really comfortable. Nice. I think these 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 guys these guys <laughs> wanted to give you the Steve. best seat. This is Steve. You guys are too kind. Right, so what are we doing back here? This this was the first underground we ever did. Um, me, Carl, and Bucky. So what are we doing back here? Well, basically, apparently, you watch my video sussed out that this place was easy to get into and you went there before me I didn't get to go in you got all the fun and you got chased away and now you know the place is pretty serious so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive around because now they've got your number we know they've got your mobile phone so they probably when you get into an area a radius of this place they know you're here so they could be watching some sort of security they might just be doing it with mobile phones that looks like a Wi-Fi antenna. That's probably beaming to something. That's where the that's where the signal's coming from. But anyway, what we want to do is come. <laughs> nice. Nowhere near here. <laughs> that's deception right there. Master plan. How much the end of Red Bull? It's all started. Mm. You guys remember Red Low Manor, right? This is where we jumped over the wall when the helicopter came. Yeah. Right. Let me give you guys. A little past footage. A lot of shit goes down in this area. Is they investigated stuff here. All the UFO reports would come through this place first, and the MOD have confirmed this. They're quite happy to say that. And they would have come here, guys would have investigated them. In some cases, sent out officers to interview witnesses and silence them, ask them not to talk about what, they, what they'd seen. And these were plain clothes guys. So you can kind of see where the stories of men in black may have come from. Bases like this. Cool. And we're about to enter one of the buildings. Yo, they're There's after us, man. Somewhere. They are after us. Yeah, that's Merlin, isn't it? Yeah, it's Merlin. Merlin. Who's that? Yeah. You know, I'll go in, no. 
No, no let's get out of here right now. <laughs> right, so, yeah, we are currently being tailed by the police and my unit. Well, we think it's the police. Uh, we've been following us for about 15 minutes now. Oh, what's up? Right, we've got camera, yeah? Yep. Just, just to let you know that you, uh, we're recording just for our purposes. Okay, and, yeah, and fair enough, yeah. We just drove into the actual base. We shouldn't. Oh, wait. oh, people are looking at us now. This is good. Look at all these buildings. These were once used. I got a funny feeling we shouldn't be in here. I don't know whether maybe this has been sold off now or something because they should have. They should have been a. That was the police station. Was the the main thing. That was a police station. Look at this. Is all um, boarded up. Shit. Yeah. It's a Joint Services Caution Medical Centre. Mm. Fuck me. I've never been oh, in here before. Open they've got I have never been on in it. here. I've only ever seen this from Maybe they're my They're demolishing the place. They got dogs over there. Mm. Oh, they were already on the freeway, weren't they? Yeah, I forgot to mention, there's also another experience, the Men in Black, you guys spot, right? Men in right? Black, yeah, Men in Black. We believe, you know, it's all linked to you know, some MLD officials or something. Who knows, man? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just hoping we ain't gonna get one now. We just got to the old police station. It's because there's so many workmen working here. The building site, that's how, that's, how, that's how all the old other explorers got in last time. Mm. It's because it was a building site, they all went to Burlington. Yeah. Now, look at this now, we're getting all the way up to the data centre, which is extremely high security. Oh, that was easy. There's a bunker entrance, look, 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 look how secure that is. Look how secure that is, boys. Yeah, look, look at that. It's, wow. It's all like engines and stuff in it, like exhaust. Power plants and stuff, yeah. That is properly secured. Basically, boys, oh basically, I guarantee you, right, right, this place. <laughs> so, this is like maximum security in my ass. Well, obviously, not maximum security, but uh, yeah. Thought it was maxed out, it was like... Every time we're in the group, it's like we walk in places <laughs> like we own the place. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me what building some bunker entrance is there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get in. This is supposed to be high security. What the heck? Is it high security? What is going on here? Well, it is high security because there's probably a lot of cameras up there. Look, oh yeah, it is wire. high security, but yeah. these people are doing a good job. Mm. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, if we've we got a couple of high visits on, we can walk anywhere we want to. Right? No, no, we don't even need that. Yeah, we don't even <laughs> need high visits. <laughs> You should get out of your car, man, see what happens. There's <laughs> <laughs> all these people over here, these little officials. Yeah. yeah. But they don't even give a fuck. The ones that just film on the face. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know they were coming up, no one told me. Oh my gosh. Around here, there was something that's gone now. And over there, there's... Um... <laughs> Dude, they're not even looking in this direction. What's going on? <laughs> all right, guys. So here's the pro. We're just cruising down in traffic right now. This song comes up by Cardi B. And... Dad thinks she's the artist from Gasolina. The song is. She is. How, do you, how do you sing the song? Uh, gasolina. Got something gasolina. Give me more gasolina. Bro, right. Cardi B was only out like three years ago, max. All right. that, that, I don't think she was around ten years said, ago. She said she has a verse that's something like, you know, when she comes back and everyone's, you know, panicking about it because she came back from that song. Like, I'm telling you now, just research it. Go on. Right. I'm prepared to handle the ten pound each. Because there's, there's ten pound each on the line here. You know, right. Dan could be like a loyal Cardi B fan. No, actually, Dan we don't even know about it. I actually highly dislike her. But... So you're telling me this is Cardi B? Uh, it's a dude. It's a friend. Dude, that's a dude. There's no Cardi B here. And this was in 2012. <laughs> Bro, it says Daddy Yankee. Yeah, Gasolina. That's, that's a different version. No, it's the original. It's the original. It's the original. It's not the original. It's not the original. I'm telling you now. What? You just said the original. That's not her. Yeah, it is. How can you deny that? That is how not it right now. How can you deny that? Hey, yo, you said the singer. She's like, if that was her, she's just a dancer. No, that's her. Yeah, but as a dancer, not a singer. 
She's singing, she says it. Listen, she has a vocal in it. Listen. Hey, see? That's not her voice. That's, not. That's, that's, that's five years previous. Nah. Done. Yeah, Done. Your, 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 yours, yours 10 pound each, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't call the reverse charge. <laughs> no, whatever. Mascot. I did five years ago. Shit. All right. Oh. We'll let it slide, Dan. We didn't shake on it, so. Shit it out. What he are you doing? On, he slammed on. So this may look familiar to you. I don't know if I really showed it off when I explored this area the first time. This is in the same area as UK's Area 51, and we're trying to really explore the uh, Burlington Underground Bunker, which is like the holy grail of abandoned underground places. And it's right through here, through this gate. And the gate's actually open. Guys, we, we don't have luck today. Solid. And they're up there. So I don't know if we can get in this way, but it's being used. Don't know. Here. Got a little bit of a situation now. We just got out of there because the cops came and there's two cop cars, there's dogs. We're really not sure what's gonna happen. Yeah, slow down. Lights are on. What? What? Wait. Just trying to stop. Hello, Matt. All right. You're all right. Oh, hello. Yeah, how you doing? Hello boys, How's you've just going? been picked up of it. Yeah. So just to let you know, you haven't committed any offences. I just want to let you know we're in the area and keep an eye on the place. That's yeah. all. Okay. Because okay. obviously you know, you know us. I know. We've yeah. spoken to us loads of times. Yeah. We're just doing a documentary on all the other Yeah, that's fine. Right. I, think, I think they throw yeah, darts at my right. photo <laughs> on the bloody wall or something. But, yeah. Yeah. but if you spoke to us, obviously you didn't have to walk away from me. You've done nothing wrong. Because when I turned up, great. it makes the video great. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when you <laughs> come in the back, I'm behind. Because I think doors. you were the last man out. I think it was you I saw walking away. I think. Possibly. I think. We that bald head of yours. Yeah. Shines. Oh, I, had, I, had I thought you were blonde. On. I thought you were blonde. <laughs> all right. All right. Anyway. But yeah, I say. Just I see. The worst thing you've committed is driving 30 mile an hour down a one way. So we told you to slow down. I told you. Oh, we right. knew it was you. As soon, soon as we saw road. the vehicle with the CB area, private, we knew it was you. Private. Road. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to switch vehicles now, and we're gonna have to put on different disguises. Oh, you're gonna have to hide yourself. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna no, have to it, was, it was just. I'll say. Because I say you didn't have to run away. It's, obviously, it makes the video look better. Hey ho. Yeah, we had yeah. to drive past and see dog van open and that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah she wanted to go for a walk. Well, so far, we, have, we, we don't think we've actually managed to get you without being pulled, so uh, it's, it's you well, know, looking more and more like the security is actually pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> members of public yeah. at best yeah. security you can have. Well, there, yeah. There's only a handful of us on duty, and obviously we do rely, obviously like everyone, like all police yeah, forces, course, we rely on yeah. members of the public just going, oh, by the way, have you seen yeah. this? And explorers with fighter stickers on the side of the car. Yeah. So probably, the probably moment I saw that, I knew probably not my smartest We talked about that too, I blame the fans for that. They sent me that my PO Box fans. Yeah. You're sort of some kind of indiscreet in your tatty old galaxy. Oh, thanks, yeah. Oh, no, I, I tried to keep it as muddy as possible so the number plate's not showing, but we yeah. won't talk about that, yes. Yeah. As you see, we're not very good at this. <laughs> yeah. We're getting, we're not very we're good explorers. We're, we're, we're we got quite, up our game, guys. Off the record, then. We're but everything's been locked up, Not, I won't say tightly security-wise, but tightly health and safety-wise to stop any act. Did you, I, were you around last year? You must have heard about the two 16-year-olds we helped out. Uh, oh, something to do with inside, wasn't it? You yeah. took them out of the side uh, side thing from yeah. Uh, they they Fox went Hill. In, they went in, well no they went in through yeah. two 16 year olds. They they'd, they'd done a bit of research on the internet. Didn't have proper lights, wasn't it? Oh, it gets worse. Yeah, they, they were from matches or something. They were from Reading. Yeah, they'd seen it. it was the school some holidays last? Yeah, it was last year. Was it year before? But anyway, mm -hmm. they got on their bikes, rode down to Reading station, caught the train to <laughs> hid their bikes, and this is about six o'clock in the evening. One o'clock in the morning, we get a phone call from Wiltshire Fire and Rescue to say someone's trapped down the mine. Now, when someone says trapped, you instantly feel rock fall or something like that, don't they? Mm -hmm. But what they've done, they've got themselves lost. And mm -hmm. they've been down the mine for over six hours with limited torches, limited batteries. Well, in fact, they had phones with them and just normal. They, they weren't prepared for it at all. Mm -hmm. right. Got themselves lost. They found a rope that led up to Lady Hamilton's upper, mm -hmm. and they were sat behind that grill with no way of getting out and no, no way of knowing where they really were. Oh, crap. Phoned up mum and dad at one o'clock in the morning, said, do you know where your sons are? Mm. It was two, two chaps, obviously separate parents. Uh -huh. 
Um, one's in Box Tunnel apparently, and the other one was in Bath. Mm. So Box Tunnel for me is the railway tunnel. Yeah. And Bath is Bath. So if they'd gone missing, missing, and not come up, we'd have been looking in completely the wrong places for them. Completely. So they didn't even have a safety mechanism to say, if I'm not back here by six o'clock, yeah. phone, because we are in Box Freestone Mines. Mm. They didn't even do that. But they were 16 years old, not a clue what they were doing. Mm. But there we go. Which is why I'm sure you guys know better. Which is why I put this yeah. on, on the internet and said, print yourself one out and do take a compass. Yeah. Which I've got there. Yeah, of yeah. course. Because uh, that does help. Yeah. No All right, then, we'll see you in a minute. All right. Wow, guys, you guys have the chillest <laughs> cops ever in the UK. I told you. Yeah. They know what the heck? They, they, they would want to scare you, around. but they know that the scare tactics don't work. So, of course, the scare tactics are what looks good on film for me, yeah. so they don't do it. So they're not very nicey nicey. Mm. But, you know, it didn't used to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, but we're going to ask them a lot of questions yeah. like they think you what happened with happens. the clone car situation from last year's situation? <laughs> What do you oh, know about that? No, I like, thought, the I car. Do you know anything? It's only personal opinion from what I saw that I was in that video. Oh yeah. It, it did seem quite um, maybe not maybe heavy-handed or overreactive. Mm. It was quite funny. We though. just thought it was an excuse to stop him. Really. Well, I phoned up the police yeah. and they had no record of ever stopping us. Yeah. I knew I, I knew it was being followed. So us, I was like, done. Yeah. This they had no, well, no, it wasn't freedom of information. I rang up and I said about because I had I had uh, debt collectors coming at my door for uh, some parking parking tickets in London. It probably my fault. In fact, I think it was my fault. And um, the, the um, I said I said that my car had been cloned and they wanted proof. I said, well, there's a video online. It's got over a million views. You can see that the police stopped us, told us the car was cloned. They wanted more proof. So I rang the police to see if I could get um, evidence of the stop and they have no recollection of ever, ever being stopped, which was great. But I never did anything with that footage apart from now. Yeah. <laughs> There we are. See, Redlow Manor, once they get to know you, they're all right. But when they don't know you, which was earlier on, possibly, then it then it gets more interesting. But if they know you, they can be quite nice. But, but those ones you met that day, they didn't they didn't like you guys very much, did they? Didn't realize famous. I mean, you told us you were this famous, but we didn't believe you. It's not famous, it is. It's called it's called infamous. Mm. Okay. Infamous. <laughs> infamous. Yeah, like that. We do talk about various things. It would be nice just to have like an open event. Yeah. Once a year or once every decade, at least once in a blue moon, to say, come on down and have a nose. It's a breath yeah. of fresh air to find a policeman that's yeah. on our wavelength. Yeah. 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 He's trying to smooth over the yeah. damage that the secret police did with him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one you did up at Rudlow, the top one, yeah. I did find a lot of news within that. Well, yeah. It, it's and that's what it's true. And I can investigate UFOs. And I've got your, yeah, it is true. That is true. Yeah. It was for investigations. Yep. So no yeah, point denying cool. it. That's what it was for. Right. Excellent. Thanks very right. much. Awesome. 15 mile an hour up there, Matt. <laughs> Private land. Yeah. Private land. Well, I hope you don't run over one of the old residents. <laughs> no, I know, we were telling him to slow down. He's going, oh, fuck it off. I'm going to go and take some more boats. Yeah. 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 Open, open. Huh? Understand, like, our genuine side to explore. Like, I get so many comments saying, like, yo, oh, you're trespassing, you're trespassing. Cops are normal people, too, and they understand, like, the whole entire situation of exploration. You know, most of these places are just kept off to keep people safe or to keep like vandals or thieves away. But us, we're just exploring, we're documenting. It's a very positive influence towards urban exploration. But yeah, we, we came back. We're gonna get more shots because I'm sure you guys want to see more of this. Oh, by the way, the cop was also a subscriber. He was subscribed to Dan <laughs> and myself. He saw the past AF51 video from last year. <laughs> so, crazy. So yeah, this thing oh, is actually open, you can go through it. I'm going in. Yeah. Oh, it might be on my phone, I don't know. I'm going to go in too. 
Okay, so this potentially leads to Burlington Bunker. Absolutely. Look, they blocked it all off. There's no way to go through this. We welded this pretty good. Can you feel the, the air blowing through there? Yeah, I can. What would you need? A blowtorch? You'd need oxyacetylene or a angle grinder. Make a lot of noise. And, you know, you're going to get picked up by the police for trying to get into somewhere like this. Yeah. But it's, it's actually uh, sealed onto the original. They had some bars like, up, like this. And obviously that wasn't good enough because people have cut through the bars back up there. Right. So they put this on because this is the ultimate. You know, you won't get into that metal plate. What if you were skinny enough to go through this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you could maybe take one plate off and you could take one set of bars off, but I, I think the amount of noise they would cause yeah. and uh, the, the police officer we just spoke to, it's dark he said in there. they've got vibration sensors on the back of these things now. Oh. Whether that's true or not, I would believe it actually. I would believe there's probably a camera or a motion sensor or something back there. And if, if you go and uh, kick it or drill it, yeah, they'll know. So, you know, you've got to be clever about There's got to be other ways to get in that haven't been sealed like this. And uh, that's what you should go for. Yeah, that would probably be the, the most famous underground exploration if we were to get down there. Well, we did do it once, but it hasn't been done for a while. You mean yeah. you have. in this one you see because I mean it's like I think we can I think we can get in you know there are ways to get in but it's finding which one is the easiest and we don't want to cause any damage you've just got to be able to get in easily you know you can't cause any damage um, and uh, you know if you can do that it is open down there you can get into the the Burlington bunker and you right. can have a look around so of course you gotta be very well prepared because the cop was saying that there's like really toxic uh, gas inside, asbestos, a lot of dust. But uh, we know that. We're pretty experienced for that stuff. Okay, welcome back guys. Thank you so much for making it this far to the end of the video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Even though we could not make it inside this time, we got a lot of information and it was really quite interesting learning more about it from the cop. Anyway, even though we could not make it inside on that day, we have an upcoming video and it's gonna be released within a couple days. And basically we did manage to find an entrance to Burlington Bunker and we explored deep underground. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for it. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, leave your comments and thoughts down below, and I will see you all on the next adventure. Peace.